which is the right lens port for your camera's wide angle or fisheye lens and your photography style. I'm Dave from Liquid Eye Water Housing Systems and in this tutorial I'm going to give you some advice into effectively choosing the best dome port for your lens. Lens ports are probably the most important accessory for water photography, and choosing the right one can be critical to your photographs. Dome ports in general are designed for wide angle, super wide angle, and fisheye lenses, which have an aspherical front element. This means lenses which cannot accept a front screwed on filter. The shape of the port element matches that of your lens and allows you to use a very wide focal length without the interference of vignette. Similar to flat ports, dome ports also come in different lengths depending on the length of the lens. The dome element sizes, however, are designed for different reasons. The small size dome ports are most versatile. They are the preferred port for large barreling surf because they have less volume and cut through water easier. You can use them in any ocean condition from calm to rough seas. This medium size dome is recommended for calm to moderate surf conditions. The size of this dome also allows you to capture split images where both above and below sea are visible in the photograph. And finally, this big dome, which is probably the coolest of the dome ports, its design is primarily for calm conditions. The extreme size of the dome pushes the waterline away from your lens, giving a more dramatic split shot. An often asked question is if it's possible to use a standard or prime lens in a dome port. Physically you can, but technically you may encounter heavy distortion on your images, especially around the edges of the photograph. Focusing issues are also encountered. As with the flat ports, dome ports also have the ability to attach our spacer tubes to extend the length of your port. These spacers are an affordable way to use various lens lengths in one port. When choosing a dome port, please keep all of these factors in mind. I hope this answers any questions you might have with dome ports. And if you're still unsure about which is best for you, please leave us a comment below or contact us through our website at liquideye.net. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy shooting.